Hi, Tom Richardson for Boating Local, and welcome to another Doc Talk Quick Tip. I'm here at Canal Bait and Tackle in Sagamore, Massachusetts, with owner Jeff Miller. And Jeff's going to talk a little bit today about how to modify a, uh, a pencil popper. This is a cotton cordell pencil popper. It's a plastic pencil popper, one of the less, less expensive uh, topwater plugs on the market, but it's also really one of the more effective ones, right, Jeff? Yeah, yep. especially for casting inside the canal. Yep, yep. casting for the canal. Um, I use them also uh, down on the Cape for uh, topwater bluefish and stripers as well. It's a yep. uh, good it, squid imitation, but it also imitates a, a variety of other bait fish. Another good topwater plug that you can modify is uh, the Tsunami. Yep, the that, Tsunami. So that's another one. Popping, yep. And these are both hollow, they have hollow bodies obviously, so you can, yep. you can weight them with additional weight, which we're going to talk about right now. Uh, but the first thing you, you like to do, Jeff, is uh, we'll talk about the hooks. Uh, you like to replace these hooks, right? Yeah, I'm a, I mostly just get rid of these hooks. Mm -hmm. um, they're just like a standard Japanese hook that really, they're sharp, but they're not strong. Yeah, and what yeah, do you like? And so what do you re-rig them with? Yeah, the VMCs. The, VMCs, are the, they are the best, I'd say, out there. For right now, they are the best. Um, mm -hmm. I usually, for the belly hook, I get rid of the big guy. I use a 2 watt. Mm -hmm. That one right there. For the belly hook. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then for the bottom I use like a 4 odd, 3 odd BMC is just as good. Okay, and you just take a pair of split ring pliers and take the old ones off and just put the new ones on. Yep. That simple. Yep. <laughs> and uh, now the other thing you were telling us about earlier was to get a little extra casting distance with these lures. You like to weight them yep. with, with some split shot, right? Some split, yep. just regular split shot sinkers? Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Like these right here. Yeah, these right here, uh, these are old BB containers, mm -hmm. uh, the copper heads. I usually take them out and I just fill them up with some split shot. That's mm -hmm. really what it is. I mean, it's just small lead. Uh, you can't use them anymore for fresh water, so you might as well use them for putting them inside. <laughs> there, the you, there you go. If so, you got them kicking yeah. around, it's a good uh, good use for them. Um, now, you take uh, before you do this modification process, we should say that you want to take the hooks off exactly. so, uh, before you start poking a hole in the body of this lure so you yeah. don't accidentally cut, uh, yourself. <laughs> cut yourself or snag yourself and then have to go to the hospital. So, very important. A little uh, safety first, people. <laughs> um, but anyways, so all you did right here, Jeff, is, is uh, gouged a little hole. Yeah, in that's there. all you usually do. And what do you, what do you, what, how do you do that? I just take a like, sharp knife like this. Mm -hmm. um, you just got to be careful. Just watch out. Mm -hmm. uh, like on this guy here, you just right in the back of the plug around this area. It's not too critical, right? As long as no, like the fat, just the fat part of it, right? Yeah, yeah. it's very easy. Just, just mm -hmm. take it, point. And it takes a bit to start it off. You need a sharp. Very yeah, sharp. and again, be really Nine. careful doing this. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then you just kind of just keep going with it. Instead of taking out a drill and making it like a 10 step process, <laughs> it's very easy with just one. Sure. But and then you make a hole kind of like that, mm -hmm. find it exactly what the size is for the split shot. Right. And then mm -hmm. you just feed them in. And yeah. then you just pour okay, it. And, the and then what do you do after you fill it up? What, what's the next step? All you pretty much do is you take a piece of tissue tissue paper or a piece that's, of paper. That's it? Yeah, just paper, huh? Here, yeah. and then just load it up and then just take super glue. Just for the top, that's it. Mm -hmm. Now you can Turn also you can also use a hot hot glue gun as well if you. No, you want to really want super glue. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, because it, it stays on. I mean, a hot glue gun's good, but after a while it hardens up and it just peel right off. Oh okay, yeah. good. So just a ball of uh, a, a wad paper. Of, of paper, yeah. stuff it in there, and mm -hmm. just dou uh, douse the thing with super glue and. Should be should be good yeah, to go. That's it. Excellent. Thanks, mm -hmm. Jeff. Well, there you go. Jeff Miller, Canal Bait and Tackle with another Doc Talk Quick Tip.